Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Let's draw the hind limb of Lingrelong. The hind limbs of Lingrelong were those of typical sauropod dinosaurs. When drawing the hind legs of such dinosaurs, we should pay attention to the following points. First, the ilium of the pelvis of sauropods was usually short, so its legs looked very thin. It was unlike ceratopsians or ankylosaurids, that had a long ilium, and the root of their thigh looked very thick, which was a triangle. Second, as it was an animal that walked slowly, its thighs were much longer than its shanks. When drawing, we must note those two points. In addition, Lingrelong had five toes on each foot, but two of them were not exposed, so we just need to draw three toes. However, we need to know the positions of two invisible ones, and leave space for them when drawing. Now let's start to draw the hind limb of Lingrelong. Let's begin with its pelvis. The pelvis of Lingrelong, a member of sauropods, was very short. It was unlike many carnivorous dinosaurs that had a long pelvis. The pelvis of hadrosaurs and ceratopsians was even longer. Sauropods usually had a very short pelvis and long thighs, which indicates they didn't walk fast. Generally, animals that walk fast have short thighs and long shanks, but sauropods generally had long thighs. Let's draw its thigh of this length, and its knee is about here. There might be such folds on the knee. Let's use dotted lines to draw the muscles in the front of its thigh, because its thigh and the skin on the sides of its trunk were integrated. Then let's draw the knee and shank. It was unlike humans, whose knees have a protruding piece and legs are straight down. Its knee was connected to the bulge of its shin bone in the front of its shank, forming an S shape. Behind its thigh, there were the muscles on both sides, which were connected to its heels. Here, let's draw its ankle and foot. In early restorations, the toes of its feet were usually drawn to extend downward, forming the shape of an elephant's big foot. That's because, in early days, people believed that like elephants, it had a pad under its foot to support its body weight. But later we know that the feet of sauropods were similar to humans' feet, which were very flat and wide. Therefore, its feet should look like this. First, it had a big heel and the front of its foot was long. Second, it had five toes and the outer two ones degenerated. On the surface, only small bulges could be seen. They were wrapped in the skin. There were three big claws on its inner toes. These big claws stretch outward sideways. The end of its claws might have been worn flat, and they were not sharp, because its feet might be worn when it walked. Its whole foot was like this. We can draw the contour more clearly. For the front, we can trace the contour till its knee, because upward and forward there might be a piece of skin connected to its trunk. As it often walked, there were a lot of folds in this position. Behind its thighs, there was a piece of skin connected to its tail. Its belly should be here. Here. Let's draw its ischium. Backward, let's draw its tail. 
Good like this, we finished drawing the hind limb of Linglong.